वेलकम फ्रेंड्स नाउ इन दिस सेक्शन वी विल डिस्कस अर्थिंग सिस्टम सो इन द अर्थिंग सिस्टम वी हैव द टॉपिक ऑफ फाउंडेशन अर्थ इलेक्ट्रोड्स इनडोर अर्थिंग सिस्टम वी विल डिस्कस आउटडोर अर्थिंग सिस्टम प्रिकॉशन ऑफ लेइंग ऑफ अर्थिंग ग्रिड सो दिस इज आवर टॉपिक्स सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद आवर टॉपिक ऑफ फाउंडेशन अर्थ इलेक्ट्रोड्स reinforced concrete foundations are normally used as foundation earth in new buildings the required equipotential bonding in building with electrical insulation is made much more effective by these foundation earth electrodes basically the reinforcement of foundation can be used as earth electrode as welding of structure steel mats is often not allowed the use of special earth electrodes for foundation earth is recommended in the gis room so here uh, the concept which is given is uh, uh, there is a building who has laid the foundation and in the foundation reinforced rcc uh, structure is used in which only the bars uh, are used so these bars are already in in the in the, in the in the in the earth in the ground and these can be used uh, to provide a function of as a earthing electrodes uh in fact uh, if you these uh, uh, this structure of reinforced structure is most effective to provide eco potential bonding bonding is to keep all the equipment at same voltage levels to avoid uh, and reduce touch voltages the required eco potential bonding in the building with electrical insulation is made much more effective by these foundation earth electrodes so especially uh, in the in the foundation itself the earth electrode is installed and it it will be really helpful to reduce touch voltages basically the reinforcement of foundation can be used as earth electrode so we are doing a reinforcement of foundation by normally using a steel bar or iron bars but as welding of structure steel mat is often not allowed so it is not allowed to use uh, steel and you know, melt it so the, the possibility is use of special earth electrodes for foundation earth is recommended in gis so special type of earth electrodes are used uh, in the gis room to so provide the earth thing copper electrodes uh, should be laid in the lowest concrete level so the solution is uh, uh, in the foundation at the lowest concrete level the copper uh, electrodes are laid for example on the lowest steel mat so copper electrodes are throughout covered with concrete and protected from corrosion the minimum distance to foundation sub grade should be 5 cm the copper electrodes should form a mesh grid with maximum mesh width of 10 meters the copper electrodes should be welded at each node of the grid it is recommended to wrap some copper electrodes and structure steel mats together so each electrode will be then connected to the mesh and uh, it will effectively reduce the resistance and it will it will be really beneficial for the connection of indoor earthing system the main earthing conductor equipotential bonding several risers from foundation should be provided so uh, we should not depend to take one or two riser and then loop all the equipment uh, in this way the fault level will be faded through only one riser or two risers the resistance uh, will be high and because uh, the most of the current is through, flowing through one or two and the potential will be rise uh, if the ground potential uh, is rise then touch potential will increase and which is not advisable so in order to reduce all these factors multiple and several from the several points from the foundation the riser has has to be taken so this is the example of foundation earth electrode thank you very much so uh, i thought it's a good idea to show you some pictures for foundation earth electrode here you can see these are the bars and they have connected this uh, reinforced bar with the uh, ground earth uh, electrode 
so in this way they have created and this is another example they have connected uh, a rebar clamp uh, to connect a grounding conductor so there are several ways where you can connect the earthing system uh, together with the bars so let's see this example here you can see uh, in the in this mega uh, structure which is the structure for the wind turbine what they have used uh, they have used it is basically rcc foundation is by rcc and with this, this foundation they have laid this ring and which is connected to the foundation and it is working as a ground uh, electrodes and uh, effectively uh, from this uh, ground uh, electrode uh, the risers are taken and these risers are then used to connect the equipment ground and it should be multiple risers so another example is this one you can see grounding system and in this one you can see again in the structure they have connected a lot of rods and they have connected a mesh within it and then connected the rods and which is effectively making a very nice earthing system here you can see again this is the foundation earth electrode installed within the bar okay here you can see uh, this is the reinforce uh, rcc and we have installed the earthing system in it so this is another picture here you can see how the connection is made This is another example uh, which is taken from this manufacturer. Uh, you can see how they have connected again the earth electrodes. Here you can see this is the connection to reinforced. Okay, and uh, this is the foundation earth electrode which is shown in black here and this foundational electrode is connected to the reinforcement which are basically iron bars and further electrodes can be connected to this uh, in the more vertical in the ground uh, so that it can achieve more uh, less uh, resistance This is another example. Here you can see the another example here. They have a, a re RCC and they installed the earthing system in it. So this is the example of uh, how the earthing system, earthing electrodes are installed with uh, RCC together. So this is, was all the basic different uh, method of if you have a building, big build, high rise building or building uh, RCC structure, you can create electrodes uh, along with the foundation RCC bars. Thank you very much.